Okay, can you tell who these people are? This is a photo of some security guards. So they might look similar to police. Um, and they, their body mounted cameras may also look similar to police ones. Um, but other types of security guard may wear less formal clothing um, like high vis jackets. So sometimes when they're in uniforms like these ones, it can initially be difficult to distinguish them from the police. So security are often rougher and less predictable than police officers. They have no more legal powers than ordinary citizens in most cases, and they do not have powers of arrest. They can use reasonable force to remove trespassers. Security can only detain people using reasonable force if they think a crime has or is about to be committed and they must call the police. Reasonable force can be interpreted differently and would be decided in court. This is a legal observer, as you can probably tell for yourself. Um, so they wear orange bibs that say legal observer on them. Um, as things stand, the key organisations who train and put call outs for LOs have got reduced capacity following COVID. So there may not be as many um, LOs at protests as there were prior to the pandemic. It's because there are less LOs, it's very important that everyone is as informed as possible about how to witness police behaviour during an action. So please register for any police, witnessing police behaviour training sessions that you see advertised. This is not legal observer training, but it will enable activists on the ground to be better equipped in witnessing how the action is being policed. So what to do when someone near you is being stopped and searched or arrested. Legal observers, especially and independently trained volunteers who support the legal rights of activists. They're completely independent from the protest and do not participate as activists. They're also not lawyers. Legal observers can provide bus cards, basic guidance, and are a witness of police behaviour at protests. They witness, monitor and report arrests during a protest, which helps back office to direct police station support to police stations during actions. LOs also take notes on police actions at protests, which can, which can also be used later as part of a defence in court or to challenge police behaviour retrospectively. One last thing, when they're monitoring arrests, LOs, or if there aren't any there, other activists who are witnessing your arrest may sometimes ask for your personal details. You don't need to give them this information if you don't want to, or if a police officer is standing nearby and you want to withhold this information from the police officer. Although you don't have to give any information to LOs, it can be really helpful to the person being arrested in the future. The police keep a record of all arrests. Sometimes the people are de-arrested before they reach the police station, in which case there is no record of the arrest as long as they don't have your name. If you need... Oh, sorry, I think there was a glitch there. If you need legal observers for an action, you can contact the independent legal observers by email at legal-observer-network at protonmail.com. <laughs>